Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Easter. Whew, your girl is struggling this morning. I don't know. I just really wanted to have a relaxing Easter. <laughs> now I have to get up and cook all this food that I don't eat. Um, but that's neither here nor there. We're going to have a great Easter. So let me get up and take Chloe out and get to cooking. We're having ham, chicken, collard greens, cornbread, macaroni and cheese. Uh, did I say collard greens, black eyed peas? I only eat about one of those. So <laughs> if it were up to me, we'd be having pizza today. But the masses want a traditional Easter dinner. So that is what we will have. So yeah, um, today I want to cook for them. They can have their little Easter. <laughs> then I want to wash my hair because I have to film videos and do other like professional things this week yeah hopefully this week is good i'm super super tired last night we played Candyland, the adult version <laughs> um and i don't know i'm just really dragging but i'm gonna get it together i'm probably gonna have some coffee and we're gonna make it a great day so let me get downstairs and get to get to slaving away on the stove <laughs> Hey, you guys. So, I know this is a very unpopular opinion, but I love Peeps. So, I'm starting my Easter morning off with Peeps because why not? I have to cook a whole feast. Mm -mm. I don't see how people don't like them. They're so pretty and delicious. Do you want a piece of muffin? You better eat it. Come on, you'll like it. It's a marshmallow with sugar. <sighs> this girl wasted one of my peeps. Here. Stop in the name of love. Today, I'm not counting any carbs. I'm probably gonna gain two pounds and next week I'll have to work it all off, but that's okay. You ever just woke up and you're over it? Like, then you start the day and you're over it. This is real life. <laughs> this is my real life. Some days I just wake up and I'm over it. The only thing I'm looking forward to today is getting in bed and watching Ozark. I am liking the way I look in this dress though. Even though I've gained a little two pounds since last week. Um, I think the weight training is really like doing its job on my body despite, you know, my weight loss progress because I keep gaining weight. And you would think because I work out like every day and I'm doing more strength training and I'm eating less, like you would think I'd be losing weight, but nope. That's my little body for you. But anyway, I'm gonna have my coffee. Um, mm. I really wanna get a milk frother. I've been watching my girl Happy Stylish Mommy and she got a Nespresso. I don't think I'm gonna get a Nespresso just because I don't drink enough coffee to warrant another $200 investment. <laughs> I could only have one cup a day. Um. So I'm not going to get an espresso, but I think I will get a milk frother mm -hmm. so that I can heat my cream up and it can be frothy. So that's in my Amazon cart. <laughs> There's like $300 worth of crap in there. I love Amazon, by the way. So I halfway boycotted cooking. <laughs> it's almost one o'clock and I've been watching Ozark. I'm finally on season two. But in a minute, I need to go actually cook so that we can eat something today. I don't know. I'm just not really into all the food over holidays and stuff. Like, we're going to celebrate Jesus rising and have a great day. But, like, I just feel like we're making a lot, a lot of dishes. 
and you guys know I don't like to cook, <laughs> but I'm happy that I was able to spend a little time just relaxing and watching Netflix and looking for birthday gifts. <laughs> but now it's time to get cooking. What did you guys have for Easter dinner? Let me know down below. <laughs> hey guys it is 4 30 the food is done with exception of the ham i am so tired and it's so ugly outside it's like been storming um we've had really bad weather but yeah most of the dinner is done but i will show you guys the food when it is ready i hope you guys had a great easter sunday when we are done eating, I'm crawling in bed and watching Ozark until I fall asleep. I think the weather is just really affecting me, like, mm, but hopefully it washes away some of this pollen. But yeah, while I'm waiting for the ham to finish, I'm gonna watch some Ozark. Um, we made, well, I made some deviled eggs with Dijon mustard, oh, the best. I literally don't use a recipe but you can just Google deviled eggs recipe. And I don't put vinegar in it. And instead of yellow mustard, I use Dijon. And then instead of paprika, I use cayenne pepper. It just gives it a nice little kick. And that's pretty much what I'm full on, deviled eggs. <laughs> Go ahead, Chloe. So I just wanted to close out today's vlog. Oh, dinner was scrumptious. Yes, I only ate two things, but I don't eat cornbread, collard greens, black eyed peas. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I'm definitely exhausted. And I need to go wash this hair. So I'm going to end out today's vlog. I hope you guys had a happy, happy Easter. I hope if you were not able to go to church that you were able to stream it. And I hope you at least got to FaceTime or video chat your family and be with them on this holiday and make the best of it. I feel badly for all the little kids who couldn't have Easter egg hunts outside, but... I think from what I saw on social media, everyone pretty much made it work to the best of their abilities. Go ahead. We definitely had a good day. So I'm gonna go upstairs and wash this hair so I can try to tackle it tonight. I'm gonna relax and just unwind and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye. Quick edit. My friend just told me the new episode of Tiger King is out. Oh my goodness, so I'm gonna watch it after I wash my hair. I'm obsessed with Tiger King. It is the best thing on Netflix, oh my goodness. Ah, so if you have not seen Tiger King, go ahead and check it out, there's a new episode. I'm so excited. Also, I'm not working out today. Um, I did so many dishes and cooked so much and cleaned so much that I feel like I got a little workout in. So, <laughs> not working out today, <sighs> that's a lie. I'm going to at least do arms. I have to do something. So I'll do an arm workout in my room before I go to sleep. And tomorrow we will resume regular workouts. But I can't take a day off. I don't know what it is. I just, I made a commitment. I have to do it. <laughs> so anyway, for real this time. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Monday. The sun is shining. I'm so happy. <laughs> Yesterday was Easter, it was a long day. I feel semi-rest and refreshed. Um, ooh, I have peeps left. We had a really bad storm last night move through um, Atlanta. So I did not get good sleep. 
but just seeing the sun outside makes me so happy. Yes, I'm about to eat peeps. <laughs> I love them, you guys. Yeah, I'm not that well rested, but I'm happy the sun is shining. I am eating peeps for breakfast. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because last time I gave you when you played with it, Chloe. Go back. Today's agenda. First, I need to tackle this hair. I have to blow dry it and straighten it. Then I have some videos to film. I have a special project to film. Hopefully, it's out by the time uh, this video goes live and I can say it. I'm going to be in a... Don't rush. Do, do. I'm going to be in a challenge with several other ladies in the fragrance community. It's totally like different for me because I'm very shy and I don't step out of my comfort zone very often. But lately I have been because I'm like, why not? We have nothing to do other than sit in the house all day. So I figured that will be fun. So if that is out by the time this goes up, I will insert... Well, no, it'll be on my Instagram. So go to my Instagram if you want to see it. After I finish this, I'm going to make a ham sandwich and then get upstairs and start on this hair. I have two videos to film today. Mm -mm. I don't know how people don't like peeps. I love them. But now I'm gonna have to drink my skinny tea. I can't have coffee after having something sugary because I won't be able to taste the sugar. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to quickly come in and check with you guys on this lovely Monday. But anyway, let me make my little ham sandwich. I'm gonna use these King Hawaiian rolls, um, one slice of ham, some mayonnaise, and some hot sauce. And that's gonna be my lunch for today. This is my early brunch. Three hammy sammies. And Chloe wants them because she loves ham. Okay, get out of the kitchen and I'll give you a tiny piece. Back, 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 back up, back up. Sit. Good girl. Okay, go back and eat. Okay, you're not gonna listen. Got it. That's it, muffin. I just finished blow drying my hair. I really could have just worn my hair blow dry last week instead of looking crazy. But yeah, this took like six minutes. Now I'm going to flat iron my hair. I'm going to time it and see how long it takes. Ah, I love hair days. Like, I don't know. And I guess because I've always done my own hair, this is just easy for me. I used to go to the hair salon religiously. Well, not even. I've never been that girl to go to the hair salon like every other week. I'd rather spend my extra money on clothes and going out to eat <laughs> but yeah let me finish these tresses and i'll let you guys know how long it took okay, it's 11 38 i've been doing my hair for 30 minutes this is what it looks like i'm about two months out of my relaxer and i feel like my hair has grown so much i don't like new growth but uh, i try to only get a relaxer every four months so yeah this is what the finished product looks like i am gonna put a little bit of light oil in it I will link my hair care routine down below. I do have one close. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now I need to cool off because that just made me so hot and get ready to film some videos. guys so i just finished my first video it is the sephora sale recommendations that will be up way before this video but i will link it down below 
Um, that was super fun to film because I got to talk about all the new products that I want to try. The only thing is that I stumbled over so many of my words. I think I'm just not used to filming because mainly now I just vlog. So trying to, you know, when I vlog, you guys see a more relaxed side of me. Like right now I'm leaning back in my chair. I'm really comfortable. Not that I'm not comfortable on camera, but on camera, it's like the professional side. So yeah, I guess I'm just not used to filming, but I'm glad that I actually am doing this so that I don't get out of habit. But um, yeah, that was a fun video to film. I'm going to switch up my do and film one more video. I think I'm gonna do that downstairs. Guys, this don't rush challenge is harder than you think. I swear I've almost broken my bottle of fragrance, which is expensive. This is like the seventh take that I've actually done and I still don't know how to do it. This is why I can't do those little dance challenges because this is hard. Like I need a tutorial. <laughs> it's not right. Hello guys. So I just finished my little part of the challenge. I'm back in my bonnet. I just had to have my friend help me <laughs> because I am not creative director. Yeah. I'm horrible at this. I, you know, having to coordinate not looking fat, stupid, pulling the product from the right way, and it's just a lot. A lot went into this challenge. I hope it turns out nicely, but I did it with the help of my friend. Yay! Guys, I cannot get that Don't Rush song out of my head. <laughs> anyway, I've just been working. Um, after this, I'm going to eat dinner at 7 o'clock. And then it's seven o'clock on the top, top. I'm in my drop, drop, top, top, cruising the streets. <laughs> I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to work out, and then I'm going to go to bed. Today was a very productive day, though, but tomorrow we have to hunt and gather. So I have to be prepared for that. So I'm going to close out today's vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today somewhat hopefully. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow on Hunt and Gathering Day. Good morning. Hi, Chloe. Hello. I just saw you for the past two hours. Good morning, sister girl. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Tuesday. So let me tell you how my Tuesday started. Let's rewind to like midnight. I was working all night trying to finish editing the Sephora recommendation video because you guys like visuals and links. So I put in an extra hour to get all of those things for you guys. I was really exhausted, not sure why. I mean, I had a long day yesterday, but it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. So I went upstairs, my phone ended up dying. But before then I set my alarm. So when it died, I plugged my phone up and I guess it didn't turn back on. So I missed my alarm. Today was supposed to be haunting gathering day. I was supposed to get up at six to be at Walmart by seven. Tried to give myself an extra 20 minutes cause I am not a morning person at all. And my phone never went off. I woke up at eight and it was still off. <laughs> so that was my morning. God blocked it, whatever it was. It was an accident, it was the virus, it was a nasty person, it was a negative energy in the universe and God blocked it. So that's how I look at that. Um, I'm not in the business of stressing things like that when there's traffic or it's God blocking it. So that was my morning. Right now it is 10.30. Um, I was supposed to be probably just getting home from the store but now I can watch Ozark so I'm gonna have my coffee I'm extremely tired won't be having any teamy blend tea today I need all the cafe Bustelo I'm actually trying a new one this is the cafe Bustelo cafe con leche coffee with milk so I'm gonna have that this morning and watch some Ozark until noon when I will start filming my videos yeah, so I'm off to a slow start today. Hope you guys' Tuesday went a little better than mine. Maybe once I have my coffee, 
I will feel a little more normal, but I just, I've been dragging lately. You know what I think we're gonna get? During this time inside, I'm going to purchase a new robe because I know you guys are sick of seeing the Grey Dawn. She, she's been coming out quite frequently. It's my favorite robe. There's a hole in it. It's way too big. Like these are the sides of the robe right here. But it's my favorite robe. It's from DKNY. I got it like over a decade ago and I'm obsessed. So maybe I will get a new robe. Last night when I was doing the Sephora recommendations video, I realized there are like more items than I really want, than I really thought I wanted. And now I'm conflicted because I didn't really want to spend over $150, but when I looked back at when I looked back at my list, I realized it's 20% off for VIB Rouge. So that helps because usually it's only 15. So shout out to Sephora. That's one thing I can say for the past three years that has actually been improved for VIB Rouge members. If you don't know, VIB Rouge is the highest tier at Sephora. You have to spend a thousand dollars in a calendar year and you're supposed to have all these perks, but I rarely see any. And over the past few years, they've started to dwindle. So I stopped shopping at Sephora, but I always told you guys that I will still continue to shop their sales because 20% off is amazing. There are a few things on my list. I still need to revise my list. I don't know about you guys, but that's like one of my favorite things about online shopping. Like this is what I do. First, I put everything that I want in my cart, regardless of my budget. I always have a budget for everything. <laughs> and then I go back with my budget and make one revision of my cart. I take out everything I don't need. And then I make another revision with the discount included. Calculate that. And then I'll make a revision of things that I need, like, you know, items that I go through, foundation, concealer, cotton pads, versus things that I really want. And then I make another revision out of that want category, out of things that I want now that I could get later, versus things that I could get later. So that's what I do. So while I'm watching Ozark, I'm going to be revising my Sephora cart because I really don't want to spend more than $150. Yeah, I'm going to have my ham sandwich and watch Ozark. I will catch up with you guys a little later. So I finished doing, I finished doing my makeup and look, I actually have on eyeshadow. I was watching my girl Pockets and Bows this morning. I will link her channel down below. And she also has like semi hooded eyes and she talked about how she's enjoying wearing makeup now that she's found a trick. And the trick is to put your shadow higher up on your lid space if you have hooded eyes. So as you can see, my like hood and my lid is like literally right on top of my lashes, but I put my shadow up a little higher. And that's just a trick so that you can actually see your eyeshadow. I started doing that a few years ago and it really makes all the difference. The reason why I stopped wearing a lot of eyeshadow is honestly just because I don't care to spend about 40 minutes doing my makeup. Um, I really just, I live for a good complected complexion. Like eyeshadow is like the cherry on top, but you know, day to day, I don't really care for it. If I'm going to an event, or if I really want to look glam, I will wear eyeshadow. But yeah, day to day, I really just don't care for it. But anyway, let me get dressed and film these videos. I have two videos to film today. I'm doing one about how I'm maintaining my self-care in terms of beauty um, during court. The other video will be the fragrances that I will always repurchase. So let me go and I will see you guys later. So here is the look for today. I have on this um, kind of like linenish romper from, oh, there's my baby. Hi, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. I can't pick you up with one hand. Jump. Come on. There we go. Anyway, so I am going to film up. Oh. And she's down. I'm gonna film my video now and put Miss Chloe Grace to bed. Come on, Miss Gracelyn. Follow the leader. And now I'm done taking my Instagram picture. So I got this little 
I got this um, little phone ring light tripod thing from a brand. I was supposed to do a review on it, but they kept sending me broken contraptions so I was just like screw it but I'm able to use it as a little phone tripod so that's how I got today's picture <laughs> oh the things I do to get a perfect shot but it's really beautiful out here and it's not hot because there's a breeze it's just perfect mm, cotton candy candy crush mmm oh this is real mmm oh wait till <laughs> Today I'm doing a full kettlebell workout because I haven't done one in a while. Once again, I'm going to link my at-home workout playlist down below. These are all the workouts that I do and love. Let's get into it. Come on, Heather. Finished my workout. Ooh, I'm looking slim. <laughs> I did my full body high intensity interval training kettlebell workout and I did toned arms Tabata. Not exactly sure what Tabata means, but I really enjoyed that workout. I don't have dumbbells or hand weights, so I just used the weight of these big old arms. Like, She's flabby. Um, after you lose a significant amount of weight, it just is what it is. Um, hopefully, I can get some weight loss surgery. I mean, skin surgery <laughs> when I'm done losing weight. But I really like doing arms. I like working on my arms because arms are one of my problem areas. And it's one of the parts of my body that I don't feel too sore afterwards. Like, they... <sighs> They feel like they got a workout, but that wasn't too, too intense. So I'm going to go take Chloe outside and I'm going to relax and cool off and then do some more work. And I will check back in with you guys later. Hello guys, it is eight o'clock on the dot. We're not in our drop top cruising the street tonight. I'm about to edit some videos. I got a lot of work done today. I finished dinner, I watched some TV with the crew. I have some emails to send, uh, but it was a good productive day. I just started my nightly Corona news story hour. Um, yeah, I saw an article that said we might be social distancing until 2022. And I believe that, um, 
I don't really think schools are going to open back in the fall. And if they do, like specifically colleges where people are living, I think they're going to have to close. This is really scary, quite honestly. Um, I'm not exactly fearful of this, but it's just scary to think that something that started with the spread of one person, patient zero, has caused an entire pandemic. And it has affected the entire world. And it's disrupted everything. And yeah, I don't even know what to say. Um, I don't know. To think that we will have to live like this for, I think it's gonna be the rest of the year. I, I think there's gonna be a second wave. I don't think it's gonna be contained anytime soon. Just seeing um, how much Americans just do not want to distance themselves from others. It's quite sad, the sense of entitlement and the lack of just doing what you know is right, or maybe you don't know it's right, I'm not sure. Mm, it's just sad. But I'm gonna try not to think about it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I honestly can't think about living like this for another year. I really, I really can't. Anyway, not to get too down, <laughs> I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Uh, yeah, I need to get my mind off of this so that I can do some work and be productive. But thank you guys for following me around today. I had a great day. Um, tomorrow is hunt and gathering day, so that should be interesting. So I have to be up at 6, which means I need to be editing. I need to be done editing by 10. Um, yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here because now I'm very distracted and... It's just a lot to take in. So, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love ya. Good morning. Say good morning, Chloe. Morning. <laughs> good morning. I finally made it up for Hunt and Gather Day. It is 6.20. Going to go downstairs and make some coffee because I am struggling, but I'm up. I need to take some allergy medicine and ready my mind to go be out and about in the world. Yeah, I uh, hope today is a little better than yesterday. Um, yesterday just ended weirdly. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get through this. So let me go downstairs, get my dog situated. And oh, you being a little baby this morning. How do you have so much energy? It's still dark outside. Did you drink puppy coffee? I'm starting to think you did. Oh, fill my cup. Let it overflow. Feel my cup of love. Feelings, making up a way I can make these plans. Maybe I don't take this pain away and tear up all these. I'm back from hunting and gathering. It was a very, very successful trip though, so I'm glad we went. I am hungry now. I've worked up an appetite. I'm going to eat an apple fritter. Should I be eating this? No. Do I want it? It's time for my pizza lunch date. So let me show you what we're having today. Nothing fancy, just a pepperoni pizza. There's my baby, she is very greedy. You ate muffin. Get your little teeth. You ate. <laughs> it's 
So this is what I'm drinking for my beverage. It is a FaceTime <laughs> lunch date. Happy Stylish Mommy. So yeah, let me call my friend and get on with my lunch date. Let me tell you guys what I was trying to do. So I think I've told you how I'm trying to pay it forward during this time because um, one, I like helping people and two, I think it's very nice, especially during this time, if you receive like a little favor or a surprise, especially for those of my friends and family members and loved ones who um, are healthcare workers, or maybe they are retail workers, or they work in a restaurant, or they work in sanitation, or they have a lawn company. Um, I'm just trying to do like small things for them. So I was trying to buy my friend lunch yesterday. She's a pharmacist. And so clearly she's been working a lot lately. And I just thought it would be nice to like go and get lunch and have it be someone's treat. And then we could FaceTime and act like we're having lunch. But nobody wanted to take me up on my offer, but my friend Kendra. So we are having lunch today and there's no one more deserving. She is just a beautiful person inside and out. And she's just been a little light during this time. And so, yeah, I wanted to have lunch with her today since I can't be with her physically. And we're going to eat pizza and have a good time, catch up. Not that we don't catch up anyway, but I just wanted to do something nice for somebody. So, yeah. This AHA sparkling water. I picked this up today from Kroger. It's pretty good. I've never had it before. It's lime and watermelon. Ooh, ooh. And Chloe is falling asleep. Come on, stop it. Look at her. Chloe, your heart is beating so fast. You ready to take a bath, Chloe? Are you ready, kids? Oh, did you just put your paw on me? No, you, you weren't begging for forgiveness when you were clawing me and kicking me and trying to pin me down.
my new bra from Elo Me, I believe that's how you pronounce it, arrived and it's way too small. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I would order another one, but I don't know if I should go up one cup size or two. <sighs> don't order UK bras if you don't want to feel like you're a cow because you have huge udders. So I'm definitely going to return it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it makes me feel like I'm a cow. And I really want to go up two cup sizes, but... Mm. But I'll tell you what style it is. It is the Elomi Matilda. No, the Morgan. Oh, it's in like a leopard print. It was on sale at Nordstrom for like 20 something dollars. But unfortunately, I'm larger than I thought. Like way larger. She's probably mad at me. The baby is dry. She looks nice and white. Except for her nose hair. I can't touch you. This child. Whose child is this? That's the air fryer. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to check back in, you guys. Um, finished making dinner and I'm sitting here now and watching my girl Melissa Q. I will link her channel down below. I love getting caught up with her videos. This is a Sephora recommendations and an empties video. She is like the empties queen. Like I can't come up with products for an empties video to save my life. I don't know what it is about me. It takes me like almost a whole year to use any product unless it's like a mascara. But even then it takes me a whole year. Maybe it's because I work from home and I don't need to like wear makeup daily. I don't know. But even skincare, like, I don't know. But she's the queen of empty. So I'm going to link her channel down below. But since we last chatted, I have been cooking dinner. I'm going to pop in the kitchen in a moment to show you what I made. It's a beautiful day outside. Look at the sky. Just beautiful. It's a little chilly, but you know, I'll take a beautiful sunny day. In a very over it and sleepy mood. I want to be able to watch Netflix for eight hours straight if I choose to. I don't want to have to wash three pots and tons of dishes every day. I, I just, I think I'm reaching my limit. Um, I want my life back. Team, help me get my life back. I woke up this morning. I'm, our, I'm still exhausted from yesterday, by the way. And then I came downstairs and there's a sink full of dishes and I'm just over it. So, yeah. Mm. There are so many things I want to do today, but I think I'm just going to lay in bed and watch TV. I like, <laughs> I'm just sick of it. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that because how am I feeling this morning? Sick of it. Oh, it's really been hard for an introverted person like myself who likes to be alone. And I think I've reached my, like, tipping point. Like, I just, 
I want to get my life back. I'm sick of shucking and driving corn. and It's too much. I'm over it. Hopefully today will get better. But as of now, I don't want to do anything on my to-do list. Even though I'm sitting at my computer. I just want to watch TV. So, that's how I'm feeling today. How are you guys doing? I am going to go get some coffee in hopes of waking me up. But... I'm just over it. I'll see y'all later. Chloe. Chloe. I just got back from uh, sending something back, the bra that I purchased that did not fit. Um, and I rode past like the park and a few shopping centers. First of all, it seems like everyone is out right now. It is 2.30 and the streets were like normal. So I don't know what's going on, but it was nice to see people at the park. Now, I saw a little too many people at the park for them to be social distancing. The people who were clearly like walking around for exercise and passing people did not have on masks. So yeah, I don't know how this is supposed to be effective, but I did see people that were at the park doing workouts and that was good to see. You know what? I actually thought earlier that if there are nail techs who still want to like do people's nails and get paid, they could just go in someone's backyard or a really open space. They could run an extension cord and just do it in an open air environment and just have everybody wear a mask. That would totally work. But yeah, I don't know how the social distancing is supposed to be effective when so many people are out and about without a mask. It felt good to be out in the sun and yeah, listening to music and being alone. I think I so you guys are looking at my ceiling because I'm in bed and I look a mess. <laughs> but um, I've been watching Ozark for like the past two or three hours. I'm about to get up in a little while and just make... A little more food for tonight. I think that keto got corona because like this week, I have just kind of been eating whatever. Half of the week, I think I had keto-ish foods. And the other half, I'm just like, we're just going to eat whatever. So, yeah, it's been a really interesting week. Um, I just realized what's been happening. And I think that Miss Keto caught corona. So, yeah not really my fault I can't help it but you know like keto is just non-existent right now and there's nothing I can really do about that these are the random thoughts that come to my head while I am relaxing who's getting ready to have a haircut you gonna get a haircut okay let's see if we can do this I might not even need your help since first I'm going to brush her out. Chloe's first Corona cut. Let me show you guys what she looks like. It's okay. She's a lot smaller. It's not a perfect cut, but you know what? We have to do what we have to do. Mama's learning new skills. You look beautiful, princess. Do you want a treat? Oh, let me bring it to you. Stay. Why? Uh, yeah. 
Yep, well you dropped it. Now you gotta wait till I fix you. Come here. She looks so spiffy with her new haircut. So guys, I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I am hot. I need to cool off. But I'm super, super proud of myself for actually giving Chloe a haircut. So I will link the tools I use down below. I used a comb, a brush, and like a pair of dog shears. I've had all these items since Chloe was born and they definitely came in handy. She, she doesn't look professionally cut, but it was a dang good job for a scissor cut. Now, I did almost clip her. There was a moment where she started screaming, but luckily I didn't pierce her skin. Praise the Lord. So just be really careful. Um, it also was beneficial to put her on a stool that she couldn't move or jump down from. And it also really helped to have someone there to hold her. So Chloe got a new do. I'm proud of myself. That's her screaming downstairs. I can add that to the list of things that I can now do. I can give a dog a haircut. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Today ended up being a better day. I just needed some me time. Like... If you guys are introverts and you are in situations where you can't be an introvert into yourself, I'm thinking of you and praying for you because I know how hard it is. But thanks so much for watching. I'm going to cool off and relax. I will see you guys tomorrow for Fun Friday. Bye. Oh, happy Friday. Today is going to be a much better day. One, because it's my favorite day of the week. And I'm going to have a hookah party. <laughs> it's my little fun thing today. I'm heating up some chicken that I made yesterday. I put some buffalo sauce on it. I'm having my coffee because it's the morning time. Oh, look at that gray hair. I'm going to sit outside. Try to catch some rays. I made one Sephora order so far. So if you don't know, the Sephora sale started today for Rouge members. I have one more order to make. I mean, hope you guys are having a happy, happy Friday. I definitely need to detox this weekend. It's 1030 right now. I'm going to have an early lunch of my chicken. Um, but this weekend, I'm going to try to do very... <sighs> Minimal carbs because since Easter, it's just been downhill. You know, Miss Keto got the Rona and because she's been sick, I can't find Keto. So yeah, that's what's been happening. You wanna say hello, Chloe? Cause you just came like running around the corner. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drink my coffee and then I'm gonna have some skinny tea because <sighs> Keto is gone. So I need to get back on track. Friday. Oh, excuse me. Fun Friday. I picked up some cucumber lime spedka. <laughs> so I'm having my fun Friday with my family. Right now I'm about to place my second Sephora order. Like I said earlier, the sale started today. I split my order into two. Well, I'm going to because I have a gift card that I did not use. Oh, I forgot I had one more purchase to make. Darn it. <laughs> now I gotta spend more money. And shout out to Savora for only allowing us to get two free samples now. These are the reasons why I stopped shopping with Sephora. But anyway, let me make this Sephora order. Uh, I just have to get two more things. Um, but I hope you guys are having a good Friday. Today is definitely a better day than yesterday. Um, I think sometimes I just need like my time and space. It's also just been super stressful being in the house this entire time and not having an outlet or being with the people that I'm usually with. So, 
But as far as I can tell from looking at other people's weekly vlogs, like everybody's going through the same thing. So that's why I'm actually glad I'm doing these videos because it's a lot sometimes. But I try to just take every day like a new day and wake up and try to have the best day I can. So I'm gonna place this order, edit a video. I had my beauty under lockdown, stuck inside video go up today. I will link that down below. I did a video sharing how I'm keeping my hair, my nails, my toes, my body hair, um, my skincare, things like that, how I'm keeping my routine intact during this time that I'm stuck inside. That video was supposed to go live next week, but just for those of you who don't know, here's a little bit of behind the scenes. I'm working with a brand and that video was supposed to go live today, but I had not yet heard back from the brand. And I let them know like, we're gonna have to push that video back because I like staying on schedule. And so yeah, that was just kind of bothering me. I know so many people on social media have been talking about pretty much their pedicure and their manicure. I'm giving you guys the hookup. I'm leaving all my favorite products down below in that video because I know how much it means to have soft feet. I posted yesterday on Instagram that I did my pedicure and I was so happy to not have my feet scratch my sheets anymore. Like, I know you guys know what I mean. <laughs> when you are nearing time for you to get another pedicure and your feet are just rough and they're scratching your sheets, that's the worst feeling in the world, so. Chloe. So I will leave that video down below for you guys. I'm going to make this purchase and then spend some time with my family. We are making pork katsu don. It is a Japanese dish. If you didn't know, I am part Japanese. And that is one of the very few <laughs> traditional Japanese meals that we like making. So I'm going to get in the kitchen and start making that. I will show you guys some of the steps. Hey guys, I just finished dinner. It was amazing. I'm going to leave a recipe down below for pork katsu don. Now this is not the recipe that we use. I don't really think we use a recipe, but I'm pretty sure all the recipes should be about the same. It was different. We usually don't have food like this on Friday, so that was nice. I'm gonna do a workout after my food digest and I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you're having a great day. Bye. Let me go stand in the sun. <laughs> oh, I got up this morning, put my sunscreen on. I said, today I need sun. <laughs> so today's Saturday, it's about almost 11. I slept in today because I was up until like almost four last night. I don't know why, I got a burst of energy and I could not fall asleep, uh, but I'm up. I have my skinny tea because I told you that Miss Keto caught the Rona. I think she got it on Easter because ever since Easter, I've just been off my game. But I woke up today down a pound. I probably have about four more to go until I'm feeling snatched and sanctified like I was prior to Easter. But we'll get it together. Uh, I am no stranger to the fluctuation mission. Um, it's pretty much my life. I think especially during this time when life is just all over the place. 
but it feels so good to be outside in the sun. Oh, I live for this. I really do. And look at the sky. It's so peaceful out here. Yeah, so on today's agenda, I don't have anything to do besides we have an unboxing to do. I told you guys that I got a new designer handbag. I want to watch Ozark, relax. I don't have to cook. I'm going to try to do a semi-fast today. I just really need to get back on track. Um, but today is going to be kind of like a rest day. Maybe I will finally fire up my hookah. But oh, it feels so good to be in the sun. Oh, man. It's beautiful. I'm going to sit out here, listen to some music, and drink my tea. And kind of just like meditate on my day and prepare to be great. So, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This kind of looks like collard greens. <laughs> By the way, if you guys want to buy some teeny blend skinny tea, I'm going to put a graphic in this post so you guys can get some money off. Um, this video is not sponsored, but I do work with Teamy Blends, but I honestly stand by this product. Like, y'all know by now that I wouldn't just lie and try to sell you something. Um, I love this product, so. Yeah, this is going to help me get back on track, and I need to have the colon tea tonight because that is more like a cleanse, if you know what I mean. <laughs> But yeah, I just had way too many carbs this week and I knew what I was doing and I didn't care. So, you know, I don't mind having a week of being really strict on myself. But this is kind of the balancing act that I have to do because it's not just me living here and it's not just the normal people here. So I have to accommodate everyone's wants and needs and wishes. So it is what it is, but let me spend my little time out here, have a little dance party, drink my tea, and be one with the sun. It feels so good on my skin. Those of you guys like myself who are vitamin D deficient, uh, I hope you live in a space where you can even just stand outside just for like five minutes a day. The story here mine. to do an unboxing of my new bag um i'm not gonna do any like designer luxury hauls or anything right now uh i just feel a particular way about it not judging anyone who's doing it i just it just doesn't feel right to me so i'm gonna include it in this video and then after we progress through this maybe towards the end of the year i will do a collective haul of all of the designer items that I have gotten recently. This is the first one, but I know I'm gonna be getting more because I have a birthday coming up. So, like I said earlier, this is a designer I haven't bought in 10 plus years. When you see the style of it, you're gonna know why I wanted it. It is reminiscent of another bag from my favorite designer, Louis Vuitton. And I've wanted that bag for years, but it's always sold out when I'm ready to get it. And then when I am ready to buy it and it's in stock, I don't want to pay as much as it costs because it just doesn't seem worth it. So can you guys guess what designer this is? Leave down below what you think I got. It's Coach. Yes, you guys. I have not bought a Coach bag in probably since college after college sometime around that point it was over a decade ago at least but this is how it came i got it off of poshmark um i saw this bag on my girl t's channel i will link it down below she did a coach handbag collection and i saw this and fell in love i think she has the same color so let's unbox it Look, you guys, looky, looky, looky. So this is the Coach Sierra Mini Satchel. 
and it's like this pebbled leather and it comes with a long shoulder strap. I got this bag to replace my Balenciaga work, which I'm currently selling just because I'll put that uh, unboxing down below, but I was super excited about getting it. I loved it. I loved the color, the shape, but I got it and it was too big. And my friend always talks about me because I got that bag because I have so yeah, I thought that the city was too small. Then I got the work, which is the larger size, and I never used it because it was too large. So I probably have only worn it like three or four times in the past year plus that I've had it. So I decided to finally sell it. I'm really into small bags right now, if you've been watching any of my handbag videos. And this is just like the Louis Vuitton Alma BB, but of course it's just in a color. I love this pebble texture leather. It has this little slip pocket in the back. Um, it looks like this retailed or it was on sale for $2.92, but it looked like it retailed for three something. It was probably at the coach outlet and then I found it on Poshmark. I paid 114 total with tax and shipping and all of that. But I love it, you guys. It is so stinking cute. This is what the inside looks like. Oh my goodness. It has been so long since I've had a coach bag. But yeah, this is pretty much just like the Ama BB. It's just not Louis Vuitton, but that is okay. I'm not someone who's like anti-coach bags. Coach has some of the best leather in the game. And I really just wanted a bag that was this style, a small dome-shaped handheld bag. And I love this. So I'm gonna try to insert some mod shots or maybe I'll just stand up now and show you guys. Let's see. Okay, so I am five five and three quarters size 16 this is what it looks like on me so this would be the bag on my shoulder super super cute this is a crossbody and of course i can adjust this but i love this bag so much <laughs> i do have my back out it's just so cute and it's the perfect pop of color for spring. I love this. So I'm gonna link this style down below. You can get it on the Coach Outlet um, and it's all over the pre-owned market, but I just figured this is a perfect pop of spring color. It's the perfect mini bag and $100 versus like 1300 like oh my gosh i love it so much so yeah that's my new bag Saturday loves. Oh. It's just vlogging my day. So will I be in this vlog again? Say hello. What's up? <laughs> mm -hmm. Where'd you get those funnel, that funnel cake from? I got it from this place called Morris's. 
Same place I get the crab legs from. Oh, your favorite. Gotcha. Although I saw that you posted that they were sold out and then the Jordan sold out and the Yeezy sold out and now you're just sad. The crab legs were sold out last night. Because it's Friday and you know everybody got their stimulus check. I hope they wouldn't spend that on crab legs. You really are addicted. Well, I didn't go anywhere. I haven't left my house in two weeks. Yeah, in these edibles. Oh, keep me near the cross. I can't. You don't want one? No, I don't want to be high all day. I always say that. I mean that. I don't. I want. Huh? You said this for your blog. I mean that. No, don't I always say that? You also said you didn't like uh, oysters. No, I said when I had them with you, I loved them. Before that, though, you wouldn't want to try them. Cause I'm picky, but I know what happens when you take an edible. I, mm -mm, no, thank you. I like CBD. <laughs> Cause you're old. But honestly, I was doing a workout yesterday and my knee or hip was popping and I, I started to get scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm, I need to stop doing lunges cause I can't be out here breaking bones. Let you have a good workout week? Um, not really. I didn't work out a couple days because I was too stuffed. I had a fat week. Ever since Easter, I've been eating whatever I wanted. When you said you gonna take the week off. Yeah, but still, I shouldn't have done it. But next week I'm gonna do better. I don't care. At this point, I'm gonna be inside till January, so I have lots of time to work on my body. Yeah. We've never eaten crab legs. We were supposed to go one time. Where? We were supposed to go out with... We didn't eat crab legs when you went to... Uh... When I did when what? We went to... No, we sure didn't. I think I had crab fingers though. Oh, at that place? Yeah, you had something. That was when I was really on my skinny legend shit. I have the wings? Yeah, it's one of the only fun things I can eat. Mm. But I don't think I had that. Remember when I came? Remember when we went out for homecoming? Oh, that was so fun. Homecoming? Oh, we went to, um, that's when I had raw oysters. And that's when we went to that pizza place. Mm -hmm. And you had all that beer? <laughs> <laughs> and I had to be around your friends. Where did we we started somewhere. We went to we went to um tenth and Piedmont. Okay. No, first we went did we No We went to Tenth and Piedmont, then we went to what's that circular place called? Cirque. We went to Cirque. And then we went to, I think, I don't know. You know, I don't have a good memory. How's Benjamin Franklin? It's his birthday. <gasps> oh my gosh. What are you doing for him? I gotta see his birthday pics. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Benji's one. What is he doing today? Eating crab legs. <laughs> That's so cute. I can't believe he's one. He's a grown. He's, a, he's seven. True. Too bad he couldn't spend his day with his father. So because I've been live baiting, now I need a snack. <laughs> this is how it happens. So this is the queso that I've been eating. It's the Gordo's cheese dip. It is so good. This is the mild. I'm going to get spicy next time. And these are the chips that I eat. Should I be eating this? No, but whatever. It's so good, you guys. Hot cheese. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. I think I'm going to end today's vlog here. 
I'm going to eat my snack, finish smoking my hookah, have my last bit of libation. And then I'm gonna make tacos for myself for dinner. And then we'll probably relax, have some family time, play Candyland, nothing super exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed today's very long vlog and I will see you guys next week. Bye.